Little Chris Cynic, look what I found. A skate park. Woohoo! You gotta bring your skateboard here, Chris. It's just off the Esplanade walkway. We're actually on our way there to the Painted Bridge. Anyways, Chris, if you get off here by Medicus Building and just get across, there's Medicus Building. If you're riding transportation, public transportation, just get off uh, in front of the Medicus Building on um, Benigno Aquino and just walk your way down here. Skate Park is right here. I don't know if you even know about that it's here, but it is here. The sun is in front of me. So we are here at the, at the famous painted crossway bridge in Esplanade. starting from there because the sun is in front of you. To the, to the where dungeon. the trolls are, okay. The dungeon, I guess. <laughs> oh no, under the bridge, right? The yeah, trolls. that's where the trolls are. You you gotta pay your way, you gotta pay them. The troll toll. Alright. He talked me into it. Yes ma'am. We're doing it. James, help! Oh yeah, what is here we go. Oh, it's a pee pee corner? Well it might be, but yeah. corner. Oh shit. Slowly, slowly. Oh god. Frank, what did you do? I didn't do anything. I didn't know you had knee replacement. Well now you know. Oh, there we go. Yeah. We have to No, still slowly, slowly. <laughs> Barnacles! Yeah. Well, you know, it's safer than being on the road. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright. How tall are you, Frank? I am five nine. Okay, I'm five eight. Over here is fine. I'm fine. I'm five three, five four. So this, 
is the unseen portion of the esplanade. But did you notice something different here? It's clean compared to Manila. Isn't that? Okay, you folks in Manila, I know I'm going to get haters for this. Yep. You don't smell pee in here or poop. It's just muddy because it's, uh, of course, under the bridge. It's easy in Busan, right? That way when they're watching your videos, they can slowly start to learn the lingo <laughs> around here. Believe it or not, expats need to know those super basics, right? Uh, it's true. We made it! We made it! Oh, yeah. We made it on the other side. <laughs> we made it. You know, there's some like those handmade the art. That's, that's yeah. really cool. You see those? Yeah. Yeah. Look what we discover just by walking along the esplanade. You find beautiful murals, masterpieces. You get to know your area, you know? You know, you, you, you get to know where you can hide away from people. We also have restrooms here, public restrooms. They are conveniently located on each end of the esplanade. And somebody's gonna bless it now. Sometimes they have their families abroad, you know, or they don't have families. And you know that they make sure they keep it clean because you have to drop a donation if you want them to continue keeping the restrooms clean. So we're on our way back to where we started and have our reward of arroz caldo or any breakfast. What's that, uh, Phil? Ilang ilang. Is that a flower or vegetable? A flower. A flower. Is that they make it in the Not Yeah, we made it halfway folks we survived we, we, we survived that scary tunnel tunnel like walkway that Frank forced us to walk through Frank Frank the circle of life we have these little palm trees which in a few years will grow into this beautiful palm tree. Hey, where is the good pizza? Uh, no, not pizza. It's uh, the new Japanese restaurant at Festive Walk. It's called Bat Batu or something. Don't hold me to the pronunciation. Bot Boteju. It's Japanese. Oh, yep, we ate there. Oh, Laurie ate so there. We good. ate there. What do you think? It's you good. Like it? yeah. I like tempura. When I eat there, I order the shrimp tempura. The big old really tall ones they had, it was huge. Tempura. The shrimp. Shrimp tempura. Yeah, they were Batter front, yeah? Yeah. Okay, I was told Giuseppe is a good place to have uh, pizza. I would they recommend it here. Yeah. Yeah, we'll go there next time. Looks good. There you go. We're almost there, folks. We're almost at the destination of the place where we started and then we're gonna have our breakfast I'm starting to sweat a little bit we made it we made it come on guys do your finish line um, uh, poses, running, 
to the pop finish line. <laughs> we made it. Uh, uh, <laughs> what have you done to us? I survived. Oh, you made it. Welcome, everybody. We made it back, and now maybe people go to the bathroom or we have our little snack here. I have a snack in just my. All right, here we are inside the little cafe by Esplanade. So I'm gonna check out this room they have back here. Okay, they got a little fan. Oops. Oh, there's more. There's more tables over here. To the edge, but in either case, yeah, we are. Like, I'm not a big traveler, girl. We just finished our day. walk. Yeah. Make that flight. so we're waiting for our food, which is coming right there. Yay, it's coming! And never going back. Yeah, as soon as they lifted the COVID restrictions and I could fly here, I was like, uh, almost so it's there. a plate full like, of pandasal. Wow. It's just a couple like of little biscuits <laughs> Looks like and little coffee yeah. for them. This is the breakfast of champions. This pandesal champion has a has a hint breakfast. has a hint of cinnamon in it. They have I would reiterate, they sprinkled cinnamon. The champion walkers eating breakfast. There you go. Mm. <laughs> Cheers! Oh, look at that, Lori! Look at that yeah. certified. Yeah, Lori. Oh, oh. Wait, wait, wait! We gotta see that. You've gotta get that on the video. Look at that! Sorry. She's got. She even Sorry. has her own cup. They are that such a regular customer in here. She has a buy cup. some shirts that have the matching. <laughs> they do actually. I, I would literally, if you do it, let me know. I'll pay. I'd want one. Just make sure it's like Bro, triple extra them. large. Yeah. Let me too. I need it. Find a big shirt and shirt and come here. And actually, not to put them down, right? But large to extra large men here wear medium yeah. shirts. Yeah. What does it feel <laughs> like it's a running joke with her? I'll run, I'll walk by our queue and I'll go, hey, look, Belle, it's a medium. Uh -huh. And I'm like, once again, the guys are just like, <laughs> in this. I'm like, how do they do that? Like, I, yes. this is about the tightest I can stand. You have to watch out when you buy shirts here. It's Asian size, not yeah, Western it's size, it's size nor European size. I'm looking for a t-shirt for Adam. Their large size here yeah. is a small. And, and furthermore, it can be hard to find the triple and the double. So in other words, there's a lot of stores in the mall I simply won't shop at because nothing they have. Yeah. Including the underwear, girl. There are like no underwear to fit me in like a unique glow and all that. I'm like, what are they kidding me? This is the biggest they have? Like, well, wouldn't, wouldn't Phil want that for you to be wearing uh, three sizes smaller? Yeah, probably, but I can't, I can't do it, girl. <laughs> It's restrictive. Oh, and the socks. Socks are the same way, yeah, right? So. Socks are very restrictive here. We're constantly mm, testing yeah, yeah, the, the girthy because they like squeeze my ankles yeah. and cut off the circulation. So finding, you know, soft socks is a thing, right? So when you buy clothes, we're lucky enough that Amazon delivers to the Philippines. So if you, if you yeah, have a problem, have Let's say yeah, finding like your uh, um, clothes size or maybe yeah. finding American some things really that uh, you miss. So, uh, I would say 95% or maybe 90% Amazon can deliver to the Philippines. You just have to click on the section on the top before you start uh, ordering and see if they would deliver to the Philippines. Then And then any items that you put in your basket It'll be flagged whether they do deliver or not. So, so. Get it. How is it? This tastes like a biscuit in America. Mm. Yeah, that's like some of these mouths and sauce and gravy. I did it be happy. Yeah, yeah. Guilty. We got a guilty party. What? Who can't kick his habit. Habit what? Your oh. habit. It's okay. Can I have Thank you. You're welcome. The coffee of champions. Instant coffee. Yum it. Good, good, yum it. Yum it, good. So you know a little bit. So you didn't hear me, I don't think, but like, this would be good with sauce.
He can now do the jig. I know. The jig. I know. Yeah, yeah. I know. The jig. And like better everything. Everything. Yay! Yeah. I never give up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> a quitter's never wins. A never quits. Quitter never quits. Quitter never quits. And legends <laughs> never die. Legends yeah. never die. Are we just having a light snack? Or, uh... <laughs> yep. So here's Andy, that's Tori's we're, husband. We're breaking out today. Who probably, just joined us. Yeah, you just finished your workout? Yes. Okay, yeah, he just did his workout. Yeah. Look at that. Yay! Yeah. Oh, good for you. Yeah, that's why you want to my call, eh? Yeah, yeah everyone was tired. Yep. We did a lot of stuff today. Every day, it counts. So we just finished our walk, and we actually uh, came over here to the healthy kitchen. Healthy kitchen. So this is located in Manduriao. So we're going to have our um, brunch in here. Ooh, it's nice and cool. So this is the healthy kitchen. We love the food here. We got some healthy options. They, they even have a little uh, retail section here that they sell some healthy snacks, healthy drinks, keto friendly, low sugar desserts. They sell kombucha, Greek yogurt, and kefir. They have kefirs here. And you got your purple rice, and romantic salt, healthy teas, cacao, seeds, some healthy snacks. So you, you should check this out. It's called The Healthy Kitchen, located in Banduriao. It's along Abero Street. 